Since I've gotten COVID, I no longer get the morning wood. The persons who are going to the corner shop. This is good to see. Forgive me. Box cover, this is Tati Bear, and welcome to a brand new top 10 social media countdown. So let's get right into it. <laughs> The dusty or the berry, yeah, the juicy or the scoop. All the things are going on, it missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner coming soon. All the drama where you want, you for tuning to the youth. Like yo, hey, box cover, and cover all the topics like a evening pot cover, mix up, blender, all them suck me, I will have me not a week, yo, just tune in, seen. Number 10, Etana, new vibe. Miku Kamelan, what? <laughs> my word, my sentence. People, so, you know, Etana as the strong one, the lady who gave you hits like, we don't want no trouble. We don't want no trouble, no way. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, like, yeah. oh God, I can't get carried away. A long time, I'm going to sing the song. The song that did shell, 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 still shell. But anyhow, so the strong one knows she has revamped and look like so she'll take things to a different level in the year of COVID, Pfizer, Moderna, and with the other one AstraZeneca and giving the people them something unexpected and just take a look at um how she carry herself these days pre <laughs> Can I get a wow? Wow! Can I get another wow? Wow! Oh, okay. Um, Etana, Etana, Etana. Oh God, well that was inappropriate. Jesus, people, please, please, please forgive me. That was really, really inappropriate. Um, but Etana, she showed more, you know, like a sexy side. Etana did always stay good. So, like, don't get it twisted. She always stay good. But yesterday, she kind of showed the people that man, you know. But can't, there's nothing wrong with that. And so apparently she also has a song with Vibes Cartel. Now this take me by surprise because I would have never expected the strong one to be doing a collaboration with the incarcerated artist. But you know the little strips already, they sang your record from probably 2004. Ugh. But uh, yeah, but hear the song. <laughs> Tana, Cartel, true love, hard to find. If I were your baby, oh. The two of them really sound good on this track, so people, let me know, are you here for Ekana's new vibe, her new look, this new collaboration, do you think set astray too much from her roots? <laughs> See what I did there? See what I did there? Anyway, okay. Um, so let me know what you think about uh, this new Ekana vibe. Sound off below. Number nine, get a water war. My son splash. All right, so people, me tell you, say, like, not many people enjoy, like, staying home for the whole curfew and the whole lockdown times. People are used to moving about and just, like, doing what they want to do with their own free will. And so, um, these are residents, I don't know which inner city community this, they decided to, you know, have some little festivities that have them look a water war. Them say police, me nah run. Me nah run. Them say police, me nah run. No, I don't know why this is coming as a surprise because, like, who want to get locked up in at the curfew time? Nobody. But people, you have to remember the social distancing because Corona still a keep. Even though people start fear to take the, va um, the va vaccine, vaccine, you know, like at the end of the day, you know, the little shrimps because the numbers them. Mm, all right, so Jamaicans play on a part, uptown, downtown, all round town. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mommy, so I can't come, but I can't on belly. Number eight, Royal Night Story. Me, what the hell? So, Beritos, I did this this story on our countdown quickie this week. Please to go and check it out right here. So, if you haven't seen it, and this story is about, you know, um, a father, a businessman who shot his son, like, it, it, just like you. This businessman killed his own son after some sort of dispute at the family workplace. And Beridos, the, the CCTV video, showed the very graphic um, incident. And it's just like one of them things they were I still cannot get over. I cannot believe that a father actually killed his son over some like a frivolous, trivial dispute that could have easily been resolved with conversation. So um, that is all my focus on Beridos. Like, let me know what you thought about this story. Did it really shock you? Um, 
I don't even want to go into the story again because it just really sad and I'm just like praying for, you know, that man's um, family, immediate family at this time and hopefully they find a way to cope because I just can't understand how, how that father did that to his son. Mm. Number seven, wholeness corner shop. Me chase my tea and cocoa bread. Even though you can't really find them things that come out. Well, can you? I don't know. Somebody comment down below. Um, oh, wow. I just made myself seem like I'm very, very uptown. No? So, like, I don't know why I'm going to corner shop. Wow. Wow, Barry. Really. Wow. So, anyhow, Prime Minister Andrew Holness recently came under fire after this video from an interview with, I think, the Jamaica Observer appeared online and I guess it showed wholeness kind of having a lack of empathy and understanding um, for how certain people live and we have to lock down because the persons who are going to the corner shop on a Sunday or a Saturday or whichever day to buy the two pound of rice the, the, the big jilla oil the half a bread and so forth and the half a chicken or chicken parts or chicken back those persons are not wearing their masks. They are not social distancing. They may not get ill. But their grandmother or an older uncle would get ill. Yeah. And when they go to the hospital, there is no bed there for them. Or oxygen there for them. And then they go on social media and say, the government wicked, see what they are suffer. Okay, um, all right, so I understand, I understand, I guess, what he was trying to say, but it kind of, you know, you're on little UPT elitism kind of something there in another in 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 explanation there. And um, many people felt that he was looking down on people who, you know, go to the corner shops and it seemed as if he did isolate them alone and a focus on them and walk on to the uptown people them, and the people them who can go online, can go villa and all kind of things. And so many people were angry, many artists spoke out about it. If Auntie Dana take Panera Live, forgot there, forgot, you know, signal and, and, and take aim at the Prime Minister. But then eventually, when all was said and done, the Prime Minister, I guess, decided to post on his, um, on his, on his, on his, on his social media the entire the entire conversation the persons in your constituency and in so many other constituencies across the island who can't buy food for three days of lockdown they are saying this is you carrying the inequality even further because vernon buys food for the month but you know the little corner shop in in olympic way and a sunday morning it's full with everybody i buy two pound of chicken and two pound of rice yeah, but you, each day yeah. each day but your government has said to them you can't do that so so you know what we don't know how do we stop that from happening and why do we have to do this we have to lock down because the persons who are going to the corner shop Okay, all right, so Beridas, let me know if you, um, I guess you understood what Prime Minister Andrew Holness was saying. Do you think that um, with that extended clip, do you think that he cleared up um, everything and he's now in, in, in good standing with the people? Let me know, Beridas, sound up below. All right, so Beridas, so if you want to win $50,000, please go and enter the Gateway Credit Union Jingle Competition. All you have to do is to just like create a jingle with the Gateway Credit Union slogan with information about the products and services that they offer. Just put that in a one nice little, you know, minute or less um, jingle and ensure that you upload it to your social media. Please to go and tag them. All the information is there right there so on them social media. So you can go over there and get all of the information as it relates to the competition and you could be the winner of 50,000 Jamaican dollars. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. No, you have up until the end of April to enter. So it's a gateway credit union jingle competition, $50,000 up for grabs. Go and enter it right now. Check out for more information there so on their social media. Make sure that you go and do hit. Mm -hmm. Number six, Scotia Bank robbery. Me thief, thief, thief. Who? So, Barry does me tell us, I do not know where I'm going them criminal here from what they know, but I saw this video now, I think I saw it on Twitter. And I guess there was, you know, people there at Scotia Bank now, them they in the line, I do them like a business transactions and all kind of the strips. When this brother was seen in, in video now, like wielding or yielding, what is the word? Wielding a, a big dotted piece of knife. <laughs> I can't believe them, nothing more, just like that, so we're police, they, 
look like one of them knife that you could, could take off like two goat and two for a cow neck and stripe. Like, what is that man doing with that knife? Because that can't hold in a pocket. There's something there look like a, a two Shaquille O'Neal shoes could have fit the knife there. Like, I do not know where him get a piece of knife here from and stepping into Scotia Bank. What did I try to do? Walk away with like half a trillion dollar. What was he thinking he was going to get away with? And um, when you look at the video, you know, all I can say is that mental health and people are dealing with something like a cuckoo for Coca Pops things in a life, you know, man. And if nobody can take them to the relevant um, place to go get checked out, for get them look at medicine and, 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 and get their issues resolved, they are, they are going to be a minister to other people. And so, the video there was quite frightening because at any point in time, him could have really got harm somebody. And he was just allowed to walk out of there with the weapon still in his hand. And you know, so the, you know, so the brother ain't never the day, you know, like, once him start to talk, so shoot me now, you can't shoot me, you know, so the brother here live from a different time zone in a fiend brain. Him not in the 2021 right now, him there somewhere else. So, bury those, all me have to say is just like, yo, be safe when you're out there, you know, because me I tell you some crazy, crazy times right now. Everybody ate at, I me mean, I know what. Alright, bury those, let me tell you promo time. So, if you hear about GoFundMe, right, this is kind of something like that, but for us as like Caribbean people. So, you see, if you want to raise funds, sometimes you know that can be hard, especially when you go through struggles with like medical expenses, you have your random bills, miscellaneous stuff, or you try to start up one business, it can be very hard trying to kind of get some fun raising. But you see, there is this new platform that is called Real Helping Hands that is basically a hope that will get the people who could be interested in giving you those donations giving you those money so that you can start up whatever business and get the help and support that you need I'm glad I come out come see this nah, like, I fear it's just going to sit whenever they have some it's going to just choke me. it is a crowdfunding platform that facilitates the ability for someone to raise funds online by simply signing up on the website creating a campaign and promoting the campaign to friends and family to receive donations on the website the platform connects campaigners in the Caribbean to donors both locally and internationally by specializing in donation based and reward based campaigning for more information please go and visit the website at realhelpinghands.com or email them at info at realhelpinghands.com you can also call them at 876-997-7925 real helping hands where real people help people Number five, social media shows. I don't know what I was about to say. But anyway, so readers, I tell you that um, people have been acknowledging the social media content creators a lot lately. And it seems as if many are many people are putting their money behind um, this new rising field, this new industry. So uh, there is a new show now out and it is called 876 Roommates. And it will feature many of the popular Instagram, social media, YouTube, TikTok, local creators. And apparently they are going to be in one um, space or house and they will be having several challenges week to week kind of like how they have golden nugget or fear factor or survivor or you know road rules where you used to come by mtv it seems to be a challenge based show and i don't I know no more information but there is dina crazy there is valdemore there is king tavi there is rj um there is world dog like so many people that i'm sure many of you will be familiar with and I am just looking forward to it, and I hope it's a really good vibe. Oh, it's over six. Yeah, them for no one a friend thing right now. If a man you want pies to the judge, they might expect them to win. Them flow around. Come, make sure you say team. Come, come, come. come. Anytime we win, they're not going to show them as a men up. I'm hearing that it might be on one of the local stations as well as online, so let's just see what it is all about. But on the flip side, it seems as if they will have some competition because In The Works is also another program that will be called, I think, The Social House, and that is going to have some influencers in our house, I guess, like Real World, and they will be having like different... Um, things to do like each week that will showcase what it is really like to be an influencer and to be a creative you know showing the behind the scenes of the setup and how they go about doing their promos or doing their youtube content or whatever so there's not much information about that we don't know who the people are going to be there but we just feel say it going to be the opposite of whosoever is probably on 876 roommates you get the drift <laughs> So, my readers, are you here for these type of shows? Are you willing to see shows that feature um, Jamaican influencers, content creators? Sound off below. Mm -hmm. Right about now, it's time for the big up segment. Well done. Before the girls and sexy and young. Run, sing along. Well done. Big up, my friend. 
All right, so right up on the big up segment, I have to go and big up YouTube and now TikToker Yadman Eaton on attaining 100,000, well, right now, 125,000 uh, followers on TikTok. He recently had quite a number of viral videos that sent him into that 100K zone. So congratulations and yeah, $1 million March next. <laughs> Culture shock time. So our white American neighbors invited us over for dinner. Bumbo clot. Dim have a family tree. It wow. always feels yeah, weird to me not long. seeing rice uh, at the dinner table. Rebecca told me when we first met that she collected. They really love birds. All right. That's probably where I get it from. Oh, I, I got a picture. I'm, I'm curious to see what. I tried the steak and. Dog, I just had a juicy piece of steak. That was not well done and it wasn't bad i feel like i'm in an american sitcom here, all right thank you for having oh, me hey, you want to <laughs> burritos promo time i have to go and tell you what one of my favorite things right now it is a fimi snacks no me should i show you but you see come enjoy the snacks them so much me end up eat it off and couldn't have it for sure in the countdown right now but me do a little video so you know so if i lie me i tell Berry does. I'm supposed to have this in the countdown, but my hunger right now, I can't bother wait till when I have shoes, so I can eat this. Honestly, I love these Afimi snacks. Oh my gosh. Afimi Snacks provides healthier snacking options for everyone to enjoy. Burritos today have three types of chips. They have the breadfruit chips, the sweet potato chips, and the cocoa chips. I mean, I tell you, say it's nice because they have all kind of little flavors with it, like um, sea salt, sweet and savory. They have um, scotch pepper, rosemary, and salt. Like, all of them something there. I mean, I tell them, I eat all of them. Like, I never ask about both six or ten of them again. I mean, eat them off like one after the other. I mean, I ask. So, see it here? So people, the snacks is available all over right here. So it's all at the location and them so screenshot it so you can go and get and try the Afimi snacks today. Very nice. Whenever I know some bread fruit and them because I could have made them nice like a chip stay. Really, really good. I never lie. <laughs> Number four, Mr. Lex versus DJ Khalid. Woo! Mega music. All right, so on the notes upon the last countdown, I make sure I mention that DJ Khalid is actually in the island and he has been teaming up with many local artists like Buja Bantan, Capitan, Kafi. He's brought on, brought her here as well as Migos and everybody a vibe with popcorn and look at them I live life and just have become, you know, one big um, um, support for the tourist board. All right, so this is the story. So it says veteran dancehall artist Mr. Lex called out American producer DJ Khalid for working with only a few Jamaican reggae and dancehall artists. The We The Best CEO is currently in Jamaica working on at least one confirmed historic collaboration with Buja Bantan, Barrington Levy, Capitan and Bounty Killer for his upcoming album Khalid Khalid. In deleted tweets, Lex criticized Khalid for working with only a select few artists and friends, some of whom he had previously collaborated. So this is what Mr. Lex said. There DJ Khalid. Just letting you know that there's a lot more artists in Jamaica. Hashtag respectfully. <laughs> In a second tweet, Lex further went on and slammed DJ Khalid's previous Jamaican collaborations as duds. Every time Khalid uh, come here, are the same artist them him use and the song them now hit. He wrote, kiss me teeth, yeah, I said it. Well, well. No boy, oh boy, I people are saying, you know, Lex probably just bad mind and him just, you know, envious say him never get included. He's not a part of that VIP club to be pang hanging and pairing with DJ Khalid. But who knows, maybe the man just up in them feelings, maybe it look cool and probably this one for me, me goes too. You don't know. And but you just kinda, you know, a little way for you just kinda put it out there in the public like that. But um, you know, Vegas, you know, not Vegas, um, Lexus, he might have all right to be critical of DJ Khalid. It's not like say he's no god round here. He is, you know, somebody who loves Jamaica and brand Jamaica, but he can be critiqued too. And many of the things so where, where, where Lexus did say was anything that was too outrageous. But um, I just want to hear from you. Do you think that Lex is just a little bit, you know, jealous, a little envious, same not part of like a cool kids club there? Um, or do you think he's just like, you know, being, you know, mean legs sound up below <laughs> Ladies, no matter how much degree, you have much diploma, you have how much care, you have much house, you have how no man still a girl for no fear girl like me, we have all their birth certificates. Number three, wedding dance. Me daga daga. 
All right, so Barita's like, honestly, I just love when Car Caribbean people get married because we do things a little bit different. It's not going to be the regular like a waltz, them, like a fairy tale, like a something there where you spin around and go on like say the pan, um, dancing with the stars. We are going to take it to the streets. We are going to bring it very grimy. We are going to get it in the gritty. We are going to bring it in like a saka saka nest because I just saw we stay from bed for floor against wall. And so this couple turned it up at their reception in front of their family and friends. Take a look. You look good for me, happy. Oh, yeah. Now, my readers, let me know, would you be comfortable to get on like this in front of your friends and family at your wedding? Or you would have send them away and then you get on bad? I would love to know because that day, yeah, yeah, the brother, they did a going night, man. Like, him now wait for honeymoon night. I think I right there and then she'll get impregnated. Jesus, peace. <laughs> Number two, dancer life. All right, so Beridos, so former Team Spice dancers, Pretty Pretty TC and Dancing Rebel have now linked up with the people them done at Downstone Records, and they have come up with a new series um, that is called Dancer Life. That I guess is going to just be a reality show with the, about the dancers and their life. And so the first episode, it showed them moving into this big mansion uptown and um, with all of them trying to figure out which room they'll get. And they had a moment there where I guess they were trying, they, they were presented with a five course meal and the one bag of antics along that day it just made for some good tv and so the show is dance our life and it is um I, I guess the focus is to be you know on youtube so it's a youtube show that's where it will be released where it will be streamed and it seems like a good production everybody knows that them girl you're entertaining them them like entertaining with little effort yeah they could have just sit down and scratch them ear it is going to be tv made for tv viewing <laughs> But they want to look a Spanish country around this around part. Y'all gonna need to get look a satay and look a ex <laughs> look a exotic food. The camera. Jesus Christ. This look good. This look good. TC, forgive me, Alex, the chef. Mm -mm. Rubble pork, fat of mine. So I'm swap. Yeah. I just saw them girls here stay and them have a natural chemistry and so um, it's a good idea and but, but do I look at more digging and find out say this is you know Joe Bogdanovich because you know money I forgot to put behind it once you have Joe money I got it back right now and um, Cecile and Scatter they are part of the production as well as Tanania so you know it's, it's them behind the scenes so it, it makes sense and I feel like it's going to be a good look and it seems pretty cool so far I'm looking forward to the rest of the episodes them. Yo you watching the Dutty Berry show ah the countdown show right the Dutty Berry countdown show keep it locked it's a boy Doug Diggy wicked and number one goes to ED Walls. Woo! My word, my sentence, my paragraph, my essay, my bibliotheca. So number one goes to this whole saga of the erectile dysfunction issue and COVID-19. So be readers now, Jesus Beam. So um, recently, Dr. Christopher Tufton, he uh, posted an article to his social media that basically said that um, men who end up, you know, having COVID, they tend to, you know, suffer erectile dysfunction. That means that their woodpecker is kind of unable to stand up. It is just slouching in the couch. And so, you know, the easiest way to reach out to Jamaica, especially if we kind of get them to pay attention to something, is to basically, you know, give them information that it can affect their sex life. It Ooh. And so, right there and then, it caught the interest of many people, and people were just be like, oh my God, you know, vaccinate so you can't ejaculate, and all of these things became trendy conversation pieces on social media. Um, soon after, a very brave and bold young man um, took to social media to share his experience that he has been affected by COVID-19 and that it has um, affected his ability to, you know, have an erection. Hi, Jamaica. This is Craig Powell, COVID survivor. And I want to let you guys know, since I've gotten COVID, I no longer get the morning wood. Uh, you know, since I was 10 years old, my... You know, penis would become erect in the morning every day since then. And since I've gotten COVID, uh, that has stopped happening. Since the, the second time, um, I no longer get that, you know, for the past three weeks, which is uh, very concerning to me, of course. And um, <laughs> I also, you know, don't last as long 
um, so I am definitely suffering from erectile dysfunction at 25 years old and it was never a problem before and I want to share this with you guys because you know even though it's deeply private and a personal thing I thought it'd be better because I want people to get the vaccine so they know the real consequences of this COVID thing uh, you know, I was talking to someone and he said to me he doesn't want to take the vaccine because he's afraid of fertility and I said look listen here if you get COVID you can die and you definitely won't have any children uh, or you can be like me and your body don't stand up and you know that way you're not getting children either so COVID can take away your ability to enjoy certain stuff you know and it has taken away my ability to perform as a man which is really rough so despite you know everything else I'm, I could have I could have died all that but like the, you know right now that's not working so I'm looking to all men and, and to women to, to, to get the message out that this thing is real. Okay, so, wow, Jesus, peem now. Honestly, the brother there, like, for bravery alone, no, you need to get one hour that you see, like, you need one of the, 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 the something name, you know, the people when I'm going to jump off a flat bridge and, like, call it them little, them little, them little medals for, like, heroic, heroic efforts. Craig, need to get one of them the next year, or this year, no, you need to get one of them, because that did, woo! Because after he did that video, people started fear calling brother dead, dead with Craig and all kind of things. Because you know Jamaican people do not take anything serious. No, I laughed a little bit, just, just, just about 15 seconds. And it was more just because he reminded me of the type of friends we used to party in high school. You know, you know, like a friend them where could I tell you everything on the electronic configuration table and then used to part of quiz club and all of these things. And if you ask them, like, we tell you, like, what the, what the biggest, like, Movada and Cartel song, them don't really know, but them can't tell you everything I go on in the, like, anime world. But at them, like, so it reminded me of that type of friend. So when we hear my talk, it just made me laugh because it reminded me of the friends that we used to par with. But outside of that, no, he was, like, speaking about his story. And so when people started to jump on and, like, make jokes, like, it wasn't really a good thing. Um, and then let me love that to kind of add insult to injury. I, I, saw, I saw it go. Um, there was a, a gentleman now from one of the leading um, fitness gym centers in the island, Spry Training. I think his name is Jay, Jason Spry or Jay Spry, something like that, um, if I'm not mistaken. And he did a video now to basically say that Craig's situation is not you know really about COVID-19 is because him fatter the need for lose like a weight because him have you know man boobs and all of these things and he went to talk about you know pictures that looked at pictures that was on the guy's page and to talk about his body and it was just a, ooh, a big big PR mess there's worse things than losing your ability to have sex that's that uh, it, it's about living for me and too many people are dying the doctors are overworked so guess what I will sacrifice my own dignity and be called anything by anybody in this country because I love Jamaica and I am a Jamaican first before anything else. I am a Jamaican first. And when I am a Jamaican first, I will tell people that my penis does not work so you can get a vaccine. So guess what? This thing can be over. And by the time it's done, the economy can move in. We can have five and five. Andrew owners can celebrate. Whatever the hell can happen because guess what? I want this country to to to. to Everybody learns something from this that we have to be more understanding with the plight of people because we don't know how much they are they, they are dealing with the situations when they come to the public and try to you know share it with us all right so that is it for this social media countdown let me know if you enjoyed it if you did please hit the thumbs up button as well as to turn on your post notifications do not forget to comment and let me know what was your favorite part of the video as well as to subscribe if you are new to the channel come on the subscribers then we're trying to head to 300,000 subscribers burritos and i can do it with your guys help if you want to follow me on my social media it is at dr berry show and facebook instagram twitter tiktok snapchat all over if you want to advertise within the social media countdown it is as simple as sending an email to bookings.dottyberryshow at gmail.com okay so take care until next time <laughs> <laughs> the dusty are the berry, yeah, the juicy are the scoop. All the things are going on, it missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner coming soon. All the drama where you want, you for tuning to the youth. Like yo, hey, box cover, and cover all the topics like a hymn pot cover, mix up, blender, all them soft me, I will have me not a week, yo, just tune in, scene.